Elie Springs is a remote village on the western shore of Lake Trukana in Kenya, near the mouth of River Takwell. It is located 50 kilometers east of Lodwa town. The village, which is named after these local springs, is an important tourist site, attracting those who are keen on adventure tourism. There are a number of resorts here, including Elia Springs Resort, that is owned by a hotelier of Swiss origin, Rolf Glor. That was a very long dream because I used to come to Kenya uh, since 1976 mm -hmm. and I always wished to come to this side. I have been many times in Loyangalani. So about 10 years ago it happened that I worked in Westpokot yes. and then I made safaris on weekends. Mm -hmm. So one time I reached here and I said, wow, this is a paradise. The resort sits on a 10-acre piece of land. What we found here yeah. is just some, some ruins and uh, some stones. And uh, I had to find the former owner yeah. in Germany uh, so that they could uh, give me the lease. Rolf's idea was to keep it simple. His resort is known for traditional Trukana bombers, although there are modern accommodation facilities too. I started uh, with the BOMAs because I believe that when you go to an area which you don't know, you should look what people do in that area. There must be a reason why they build these kind of houses. Journalists, scientists, anthropologists, humanitarian workers and government officials are some of the common visitors here, he says. People from from the whole world, they are usually overworked, they are stressed, they are... Many people, they don't even see anymore a moon or a bird or something because they are somewhere in cement. So the demand for kind of adventure tourism is rising, I believe, and Turkana is the place to be. Because here you have nothing else than nature. Lake Trukana is bordered by Trukana and Marsabit counties, with both sides of the lake having great tourism potential. Where the missing link is for the Turkana region is the connection between here and Loyangalani. So if there would be a connection between here and Loyangalani, I believe generally tourism in the north, in this northern corner for, of Kenya, would improve very fast. Great potential, yes, but the tourism sector here has been grappling with a negative perception about security. It is the perception, it's not the insecurity. We never had any, any kind of security issues here. The current threat is the swelling of the lake, which has in the recent past led to destruction of facilities, like some of the bombers at this resort. It took four of our BOMAs completely washed away. It spoiled the two boats we had. But I'm all already planning to, to, to build a, a new, still a BOMA, but a bit an improved one. We have 49 uh, edible species of fish. The Cabinet Secretary for Petroleum and Mining, John Munez, who hails from Trukana County, is a regular visitor here. He is seeing great untapped potential here. Tourists can enjoy water activities and even boat rides to the beautiful volcanic islands like the famous Central Island. There has been little effort to, to grow tourism in this, in this part of the world. And that's why I want to call upon investors. Investors to come and, and put the money here. We can do hotels, five-star hotels, on the western and the eastern part of the, of the lake. Uh, fishing is one area, the other one is of course uh, the, the game, you can have water, water activities like uh, angling and just across here we have uh, the sand dunes uh, overseeing the lake. Uh, you can ride on the sand dunes, uh, something you can do in Dubai, uh, it can be done here. Indeed, this is a hideout worth including on your bucket list. <laughs>